Okay, let's do this one first that starts with the 7 times 2. Now, right here, notice that there's these right here. These are brackets. They are considered parentheses too. Um, you're just always going to do this type of parentheses first and then do the outside brackets. So let's go ahead and write our please. Excuse my dear Aunt Sally. Okay, and what are we going to do first? We're going to do the parentheses. So we're going to start with 7 times 2. So underline 7 times 2. And what's 7 times 2? 14. Okay. Now I want to copy everything that's not underlined. And I don't have to do the regular parentheses because I've already done everything in that. But I am going to do the brackets. So I'm copying everything just as it is. Okay, do I have any more parentheses? Yes, I have the brackets because those are considered parentheses. So I'm going to do those next. So I'm going to underline 14 minus 3. And what is 14 minus 3? 11. Okay, now I'm going to copy everything just like it is. Okay, do I have any more parentheses? No, so I'm done with that. Do I have any exponents? No. Now, naturally, our minds want to do 11 plus 8 next because we're used to going from left to right. But next is multiplication and division. So do I have any multiplication or division? Yes. So which one am I going to do first? I'm going to do the division because it comes first in the problem. So I'm going to underline 8 divided by 2. And what's 8 divided by 2? Four. and then I'm going to write everything just the way it is. Do I have any more multiplication or division? Yes, 4 times 3. And 4 times 3 is 12. Do I have any more multiplication or division? No, so do I just have the addition subtraction left. So I'm just going to do 11 plus 12. If I go to the side and work that out, that's going to be 23. So my answer is 23. Okay, let's try the next one. The first thing I'm going to do is write, please excuse my dear Aunt Sally. Okay, do I have any parentheses? Yes, so the first thing I'm going to do is what? 3 times 2. So I underline 3 times 2, and what's 3 times 2? 6. So I'm going to copy everything just like it is. Okay, so now it says 6 minus 6 plus 4. Do I have any more parentheses? Yes, because those brackets are considered parentheses. So I'm going to do 6 minus 6, which is what? 0 plus 4. Okay, no more parentheses, no exponents, no multiplication, division. All I've left is addition, and 0 plus 4 is 4. So my answer is 4. Okay, let's do this last one on this front page. The first thing I'm going to do is write, please excuse my dear Aunt Sally. So what's, what am I going to do first? The parentheses, which is 6 minus 1. So I underline that. 6 minus 1 is what? 5. And I copy everything just like it is. And I don't have to copy the parentheses because I've already done everything in the parentheses, but I copy the brackets because I still have stuff to do there. Now, do I have any more parentheses? Yes, the brackets are considered parentheses. So I'm going to do 7 times 5 is what? 35 plus 
100. So I have no more parentheses, no exponents, no multiplication, division. All I have left is the addition subtraction. And that will be 135. Okay, now I want you to do the back three on your own. 